Oh, wow. Yeah, sure. I think his axe level is still higher. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not going to double poison axe right now, but that's fine. Uh, what I'm actually going to do, if I can, is teleport out, because this, again, it involves backtracking. So I'd rather just teleport out, use another cottage, and just jump straight back in. I think that will actually save me time. So I'm trying to play efficient here. Just update my save and then jump back in and go the, the correct way. Right, here we go. Third time's the charm. Uh... Four sixty. There you go. Now we're talking. Yeah, I think that drain move is hundred percent got to be proportional because they're all doing the same thing. Whether it's a vampire girl or like a revenant or a whatever attacking. They seem to be taking basically the same amount of HP. That's really good damage. Yeah, Flare's still relatively unimpressive, even at level 6. So it's probably another one I'll stop working on soon. I don't think it's that worth it. Might help me in a pinch. Ooh, wood golem. That's interesting. Let's hit it with fire. I should probably work these guys' as elemental spells up slightly more as well. Yeah, so that fire is going to out-damage his flare easily, and it's only a level 5, so that's the thing about flare, I guess. I mean, it's even out damaging Ultima, put it that way. So, elemental weakness obviously does count for a lot. There we go. But the Ultima did level up. Good to see. Whoops. Yeah, the moves have been decided. Again, I was going to press the map. That's fine. So I think I'll level Flare up to level 7 and then I'll call it quits. Um, there we go, got a hit. Those animations are really cool. There we go, got a hit there too. And they immediately flee, so it's a, it definitely is another one of those stace effects where it's basically a win. Alright, so there's two paths up here. What was the deal with the other one? I 
I think let's at least take out um, one or two of these more quickly. Yeah, I mean, you've got to remember the guy's got like 57 intellect. And he's using a flare and it's still like 170 damage. It's just. It's kind of nonsense, it really is. Such a shame. Yeah, Ultima's the only only one worth it really, unless there's an elemental weakness. I just still wish it didn't have that much variation. Like, the 500 it hit before was really nice, but 300 is like, it's literally about, like, 40% less damage. Which sucks. Like, the physical attacks having more variation I can kind of get, because there's a percentage chance that it hits and it doesn't. But I, f I feel like magic shouldn't follow the same type of mechanic. Like, it should be more consistent in the way it hits. And how much damage it can do. Okay, so this is the way forward and the other one is just to get the two chests, but we'll do that. Uh, let's speed this up. This is a, a backtrack battle. I don't know what that was. Whatever it was, it did not work. But we got a Ripper again. Right, can go straight up here. Double Golems, wow. Okay. At this stage, I think it's smarter to just use my better stuff. Oof. Oof. Okay. Kind of came a bit out of nowhere. I think that one will die. Yep. But yeah, as predicted, I think when you do fall asleep, um, I've seen times where it completely misses, which, again, that part of it doesn't make sense to me. But more often than not, when characters fall asleep, they take big damage. Now, how he, they've got like three rounds worth of sleep. When I do it, they don't stay asleep for three rounds. It's kind of dumb, but that's fine. So first time anything of any danger happened for quite some time. Um, honestly, though, we should just take it out, not mess about. Oh. They're just bombarding. So, yeah, when they get put to sleep, they stay asleep, which is a bit odd, but fine. And remember, you can't just smack them awake. So that was interesting about out of nowhere, things got a bit... Chaotic. Right, let's keep going. Diamond gloves. I think those are surely an upgrade. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like taking a 34% all in agility, that's just...
At this stage, I might I might rock one of these for him actually. Might be better. Okay. So that's that, and then we have one on the other side. Still not seeing death hit that much, even at level 8 does depress me. Such a shame. Could have been so much more. But I definitely think it's better to just hit singular. I think it literally just does more damage straight up. Like, even if you add together the individual bits of damage, it's not as good. Okay, let's finish it off. Yeah, double berserk there. Okay, these guys are getting a bit boring now. Let's skip them. You guys see the pattern. Like, I start off trying to engage with everything as much as I can, uh, work the spells, all that kind of stuff, and then after, like, 15, 20 encounters, you start to take things up a notch. Diamond Helm. Yeah, I mean, these are just not... This is not good. Wait, what? I literally... A. I guess it doesn't guard against sleep, does it? That's some bullshit. Wow. I literally put something like that to help and it didn't. Lame. I need to go back the same way. Ooh. I'm I'm Eber. Okay. Let's see. Nothing yet. This is de definitely an enemy type that made an appearance later on in the series as well. Might be its first iteration, not sure. Let's see how it does versus Ultima. Same as everything else. I don't think we've seen anything that basically doesn't take any damage from Ultima. It's like resist, and obviously that's the kind of trade-off I did mention earlier about, like for example, some like Flare. It, the the crap part is that um, you're never going to be able to benefit from an enemy being weak, specifically to Flare. Um, but obviously, then you're never gonna, then you're unlikely to also have an enemy that's strong to it specifically either. So. Definitely pros and cons. Wow. Yeah, okay. That damage was a bit crazy. Let's get out of here. Uh, do a bit more of that. Do a bit more of that. Do a bit more of that. And a little more of that. It seems to get at least one of them in this particular encounter. And yeah, Blind still, in my eyes, is probably the state's ailment that most enemies are weakest to. Oh wow, okay. 
Yeah, we'll take that. That made things easier. Okay. I would say like two or three more levels for Ultima and you can really start to use it reliably. Like you would get hopefully like four to seven hundred damage depending on what it hits. Okay. Uh, these guys we've got to respect because they put us to sleep pretty nicely last time. Let me try to put a barrier up. See what happens with that. I want to see if I can avoid the sleep here. Okay, no sleep. That's good. Uh, can we put them to sleep? Give them a taste of their own medicine. They seem to be very accurate too, yeah. You see, like, barrier, twist headband to protect against sleep, 99% evasion, and still gets put to sleep. It's like, I I don't know why that, that shit happens. Now, is Basuna level 1 enough? Let's see. No. Or it might be, but there's a chance it doesn't work. a little bit of that berserk helping out there. I'm going to try it one more time. So it does seem like sleep is a problem, even if you've got a twist headband on. I always thought that would be enough to kind of eliminate any issues related to it, but not the case. So I might, might need a high level bassoona on the second character here. Some good damage from Rykard as well. But yeah, they hit hard too, man. 540. It's huge. Now, oh, there you go. She finally woke up. It took forever, but... We got it. Hoping he might get to level 2 by the end of this. Nice. So probably the most troublesome encounter here. Let's see. Ultima, Fire, Berserk. Not Basuna. Okay. We have two level six fires, which is good. Haste break. And well, level six Ultima. We'll see it in action soon. Use it against one of them. Oh wow, okay. That <laughs> animation looks dope.
right, let's start to take them out here. Like, that animation is so huge, it should be hitting all of them, really. Definitely should get that level 2 Basuna for Fearing. We're not going to get it, I think, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I guess I will start here. I'll just get the two chests first. Let's see how we do. Honestly, there's more flaws than I expected. I think we're nearly at level 7 haste too. I'll invest a little bit more on that. Yeah, still, even at level 6 it can go as low as 318, which sucks. Like, it gets a new animation, it goes up a level, and it still hits 316 on a singular enemy. There you go. Level 2 at least, that's good. Yeah, he ain't doing much else. Just stick with that. There we go. First chest. Defender. He's, he's had this one for a while. I was going to say he needs something else. That's good. Um, 194203. Okay. Very nice. Wizard. Let's just see... Um, the new weapon in action. Nice one hit KO. Okay. Nice. Kind of surprised wizards still appeared. The, again, they're probably only dangerous if they get like a ambush or something. Ooh. General. Have we seen the general level? I don't think we have. I mean, okay. All right. Coming in strong. Um, what shall we do? Let's protect ourselves a little bit. I am mini them. Nope. Nope. So we got hit for about 750-800. Yeah, that's definitely less. Let's go for that again. Once you start seeing like damage numbers around the 800, 7, 800 mark, then like it, you start to perk up a little bit again. 
but I'm pretty sure they're immune to darkness, otherwise I think it would have hit by now. It tends to hit pretty easily. Okay. What can we do to him? There has to be something. Um. We'll go on the attack soon, but just feeding them out a little bit more here before we show our teeth. Yeah, in terms of status, they're just not having it. Fine. Guess it's my turn then. Let's see if they're strong enough to basically not take much damage from us. Okay. About 800, 1,200, about 300, close to 2,000. Yeah, so they're something around that range. Definitely no darkness here. Okay. Just gonna attack. Finish it off. Might get something cool from this. Yeah, it did like four times as much damage as it did last time. Blind leveled up. And diamond armor. We have one already. Yeah, I've generally opted for stuff that has some resistance to like elementals and um, state settlements. Yeah, we need to start osmosing though. See if we can get an Osmos out of the Lamias. Hopefully we can, otherwise there's not too many I think that offer it here. There you go, that's good. We're going to need a few of these to fully get what we need. Ha! Take that. Let's go. So now we have that one, and then we have that other exit too. Okay. 